They got some nerve. Give me a minute. Chile. Let me tell y'all something. When I say they got some nerve, they really got some nerve because I need to know what is this? Three reasons why you should not buy botanics batana oil. But what? But what? Hold on. Let's watch this again because. Three reasons why you should not buy botanics batana oil. Number number one is use a scammer. I just went on TikTok just now to show you guys the video and I didn't even realize that the video that I posted in December last year, it actually has 4.6 million views. I didn't even realize that. And 13,000 saves and hella comments. Now my thing is, right? So in that video, it's me featuring my baby girl and featuring my product, Jolie Fair Organic Hair Growth Hair Nourishing Oil. Hi, if you're new here, this is my brand, right? So I posted that video showing the progress of Pumpkin Pie's hair using Jolie Fair Organic Hair Growth Hair Nourishing Oil. My daughter's hair won't stop growing because of this oil. Been using it in her hair since she was born. Now here's where I messed up and it's a rookie mistake. I never once in the video said verbally Jolie Fair Organic Hair Growth Hair Nourishing Oil, nor did I put the website on the video for persons to go and purchase it. Don't make that mistake if you're a business owner, you create videos on TikTok because you know people be stealing other people's things. Hence, in my case, I'm minding my business on Instagram and I'm a pretty popular girl and so is my brand, right? Two people actually messaged me on Instagram and they said, hey babe, came across a snap for a botanic oil they were using yours and your baby girl's video, just thought I would let you know. So they're using my video and running ads on it for their growth product, claiming that the results that you see in this video is from their growth product. This is another message that I got from another one of my followers, boom, 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 boom. So I asked them to screen record it and send it to me, and they did. Now in the video, you would clearly see me, and you see me combing pumpkin pies here. Notice they cut the video off right before you're able to see my hair growth oil product on screen. When I saw it, I ain't gonna lie. I said to myself, I know you effing lying. And I actually felt some type of way because I built Jolie Fair from the ground up. I did not use any fraudulent or any stock images of before and afters to market and sell my brand. First of all, when I started, I didn't even know that that was like a thing. I just waited until my actual customers send me results of using my product to use and post on social media to promote my brand so people could see that yes the oil actually works i don't even really promote and say yeah get this oil is the best oil because people are going to be like oh you know you're here nice so you know you're gonna yeah, i'm not gonna use it or whatever i depend on my customers from real actual results to market and promote to potential customers about my brand and for a new brand to use videos that i'm producing about my products and about the amazing hair growth results that i get my baby gets and also anybody else that use it to promote their own brand whether they're just coming in the market or not is bs and then on top of that when you go on their website it clearly says, oh, don't fall for scams. How are you gonna tell people don't fall for scams when you're scamming people using my content to promote your oil? It's either your oil works or not, lady. This, this, and my supporters, fans, and customers could tell you, this is that girl. It works, you get results, so I get it. I get it that you want to use progress from people using Jolie Fair Organic Hair Growth Hair Nourishing Oils to promote, you, oh, to promote your brand, but that's messed up. And the fact is you're using it. You're using my content to run ads, to get potential customers. That's a fraud. Let me tell y'all something. It's a dog eat dog world on this social media space. People are not being original. And if you want customers, the least you could do is be honest. Because you're not being honest trying to get customers by using results from my oil. Clearly it works if you want to use people's results from it to promote and push your brand. Then you have the audacity to watermark my video. 
Let me tell y'all something. I done already contacted my lawyers. So if you see this, Botanic Oils or whatever your name is, if you see this, you got a couple of days to take it down and seize using my content to promote your BS oil, okay? It's the real deal right here, okay? Send all your customers to get this because if they bought it, they're thinking they're gonna get results from using my oil and they're not. If you're gonna come up in this hair growth business or in any business, the least you could do is be honest because when you're honest, you build brand loyalty. And when you don't have that, you don't have a brand. Don't come in the space and start scamming people from the very beninging. In the beninging. Yeah. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I done work too hard building this brand for you to come up in here and think you're just gonna steal my content to promote your oil. Use the results from your own product to promote your own thing. Don't take nothing from me, okay? Don't take the results from my Jolie Fear Organic Hair Growth Hair Nourishing Oil, okay? And on that note, if y'all want to support and get the real deal, of course, you guys can get it on Amazon because it's now available on Amazon. And of course, JolieFear.com and also on my Etsy store, okay? Coming back to TikTok shop also, okay? Don't be out there scamming people. Botanics, all right, before my lawyers contact you, okay? I'm giving you a couple of days, all right? Do the right thing, okay?